Hey! Oh. Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, I'm back here on another chapter, another location. And uh, this, I don't know the name of this place, but uh, it's, it's, I call it the Big Stone because of the Big Stone. And uh, it's a very nice location. I've come here many, many times, but, oh, well, am I overblown here? The highlights are, yeah, I think this is better. Uh, yeah, so I came here many, many times and I, I, I kind of like it here, but I could never shoot uh, an episode or, or a chapter or a video here because, because there is so much seawater going all around that it's very dangerous to the equipment. And the last time that I came here was actually yes, no, the day before yesterday. And disaster happened because I was right at this spot here. No, where is it? Where? I was actually right at this spot here. And I had my tripod and, and A7R3 with a 1635 setup. And just a moment that I did it, I was not looking, the, the, the camera just slipped from, from me and almost fell inside of the of the creek that has seawater. It didn't, but still fell with the lens first to the ground and damaged the lens. I don't know if it's misaligned or not. I, I already shot with a 7R3. <coughs> and I think that there is no problem with it. But still, uh, first day of the first day here in Madeira and then, and then all of a sudden, um, you know, uh, I can already break an equipment and I'm going to spend here for so, such a long time. And I was devastated, right? Because I thought that, I mean, I, I bring two cameras and one already is, is broken. Let me adjust this. And I bring two cameras and one is already broken. So, you know, it, you, you start already... You don't get a good vibe anymore. So then I stopped shooting and just decided to go home and test that the, both camera and, and lens are fine. Uh, sadly, the 16 to 35, it's an F4. Uh, it doesn't properly fo manual focus anymore. It, it auto focuses and it has lens stabilization and it has everything, but now it's more, now it's tougher to, to manual focus. But anyway. My main thing here is to actually try to get this creek. Uh, where is the creek? Try to get this creek here. And then when the water makes a movement, it kind of like does this, it does a, a circle around towards the stone and towards the background. And it, it looks great. It's just that I have some I have some examples that I will put later on of this location and what it can give. But since this is the first time that I'm doing a video here, so it's basically new for you guys and, and well new for me as well to be doing both of these things. Anyway, enough talking. This is already like how long of me? Almost six minutes of talks. So. You know, when you when you start YouTube, you think that you can talk so little, but then the, you have to be you start talking a lot, a lot, a lot, like now, and you should be more concise to waste less of your time and mine. Okay, I'll, I'll do. I'll get I'll get prepared and then I'll start my preparations and then take care that no more equipment is is broken or thrown on the floor. Well, let's go. So I'm uh, back here, uh, started taking my, my photos from, the, from this side and as you can see there is this line when the water hits the stones 
and it passes creates this line towards the bigger rock oh and there is some fishermen at the top there they're throwing out catch I don't know, can you see it I think I, this screen is so tiny i can't see it anyway so then the colors are picking up on the sky uh, behind me there's quite quite nice colors but sadly and the towards the rock it's still the the dreaded bald, bald spot and um, yeah I I'm waiting still the clouds are moving the clouds surely are moving to towards this direction but but it's not not as fast as I want for them to pick up the color because soon the Sun will hide behind that mountain and then it's gone for good no colors anymore just maybe the blue hour but uh, it's it's kind of boring for me i want the skies pink and pastel like like you can see it here or here looks good it looks great so i guess it's just a matter of matter of time now until until the clouds move to the correct place uh, I'm sorry that I'm not speaking directly to the camera, but I have to keep an eye, an eye on the, on the water and on the camera at the same time and video. That's why it's difficult to do it here because so, so much can go wrong very, very quickly. And now at least I am holding the, the, le the camera leash to make sure that I'm not such a noob anymore right uh, I will have to change the batteries on this one I just did a, 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 a brain surgery on my ZV-1 because this this is the RX-02 that I was using for vlogging before but then I bought the ZV-1 because it's, it's a little bit of a hassle to deal with this when it's too sunny, you know? So then the ZV-1 is, has a ND filter built in. I don't have to be adjusting all the time, you know? Oh, oh it's picking up some color on the, on the sky there. Anyway, so then I, I picked up the ZV-1, but then I had to take the memory card from there, put it here. And, but it's such a nice, small, compact setup. Like, I, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of this because especially when I, I take so many photos on the on the seaside close to this close to the water like this which is very dangerous for any kind of equipment and this is this is okay right it's the quality is not as high as the zv1 but if i become drenched this one is for sure uh water not water sealed how what you call it weather sealed and uh at least I, I lose only one piece of equipment, not two. Wow, it's looking really nice. I, I should have picked up the other side with the mountains. Can you, how can I see it? Uh, yeah, over there. That looks nice. Okay, let me try to change compositions and at least see what I got, if I got something. My god the the colors are really going out quickly not behind me behind me it's looking really nice eh? 
Uh, how is it? That's looking really good. But oh, in front of me, uh, it's very quick. Sadly, um, while I was while I was talking to you guys, the the colors were going away, and uh, now it's all my only only my second composition, and it's almost gone. As you can see, there is a little bit of red on the top of the clouds, but then the bottom is already completely blue and. You can see you can see some of the islands in the front, but it vanished really quick. It was saying something like 70%. No, excuse me. I think it was like 50 something percent cloud, low cloud cover and 20 something percent like medium cloud cover. So then it, you know, put those two and two together. I don't know if you should do the math this way, but. But. Sadly, the, the colors are not sticking. Sometimes it sticks for longer because the sun hides side hides here, but it, the the light can still hit uh, the above clouds. Not today. It's not today. It's okay. I have never taken a shot from this location. The sea has never been, at least when I came here, the tide has never been so so low. And uh, I'm taking, I even walked a little bit to the other side. It's impossible to do it. Like it, the sea is really rough here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you have to be constantly vigilant when you are doing seascape photography because it, it will catch you off guard. You think you think that you know how the sea is behaving, and then all of a sudden, it washes you over. I don't even have a a, a cover now, which is also a big no-no for me. But I didn't have time to buy one yet. I just make one out of Ziploc bags, and they work pretty well. But yeah, um, I think I'll have to explain the photo what 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 I wanted to achieve with the photo because. I didn't have the time even to do some b-roll to, to complement this, this shot. It's going to be most a talking head, going to be mostly a talking head episode now. And uh, how, how did you think it was the RX-0, this little machine? Uh, I think it's pretty convenient. I just attach it to my, to my jacket and I walk around and I don't care if it rains or seawater comes because it's sealed, right? Oh. But I do care about my R my A7R3, so let me move out a bit and uh, let me regroup and think what I can do now. But I don't think it's much because, as you can see, the colors are gone. Yeah, maybe I'll, I will stick around a little bit for the blue hour to see if I can get... Because the clouds are moving nicely, it's just that there's no colors. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Back to shooting, I guess.
Yeah, so I guess this is it. It was a quick one. Okay? I came a little bit unprepared, I guess. Uh, the sea was not as exciting as I wanted. It was very calm. I knew that already coming in, but it gave me a different perspective also. I could get a little bit closer to the to that fan and get a different perspective of a place that I've been so many times, but I could never come so close because the sea is always so, so strong. Uh, I will be coming back here for sure because I like it very much. I think it's a fun place. There is other composition opportunities from the top here and from the other side that I would like to explore. And I think this is a sunrise location because the sun rises over there and it illuminates the, the big rock. It's the geological term, it's big rock. It illuminates the big rock from the left side. And when it's sunset, at least when it's unobstructed, it illuminates from this side. The, shade, the, the shapes are very different and the shade is a little bit different as well. The way that the light hits on the water when it's sunrise, it's, it's, it's very nice. But, but I think this is it. There is not much else that I can do. Uh, I'd just like to thank you for, for watching. Thank you for your time. And uh, if you have not done so, please subscribe, like, you know, all of these things. Visit my website, check out my portfolio. I'm going to leave some of the photos that I took um, in, my, in, in the description below. <coughs> Excuse me. And there is an album for the photos here. Still keep on looking to see if I can find something. But maybe not. Uh, yeah. I think this is it. So, once again, thank you. And until the next time.